Number 38. So which one will give us a sort that has the empirical formula CaC4H4O4? So first of all, we check ethanoic acid. Formula of ethanoic acid is CH3COOH. It can only release one hydrogen ion per molecule. So the N ion, the ethanoic ion will be CH3COO minus and then calcium is 2 plus. The formula for the salt will be this formula. Okay, so we need two moles of ethanoic acid. We end up with this salt and hydrogen gas. And this, if you to check the empirical formula C, C2 times 2, C4, H6, O4. Right, that doesn't tally with the empirical formula of the salt that we want. So statement A is out. That just means that B, um, statement 2 and 3 must be correct. So look at butane dioic acid. Dioic means it has two acidic groups. So we have two groups here. It can release two hydrogen ions. So the formula of the salt that we get will be here. And then we check that it actually tallies with the empirical formula that we want. C4, H4, O4. So this is correct. The third acid, 2-methylpropanedioic acid, sounds a bit complicated, but if I do draw the structure, okay, the propanoic acid, dioic means there are two acidic groups, and then we have a methyl group as a side chain. Similar to your butane dioic acid, this hydrogen will be released, just like this hydrogen. And then because it's 2 minus, it will react with 1 to 1 ratio with your calcium 2 plus. And this sort will be the same empirical formula as this sort also. So statement 3 is correct. Number 39, which compounds will react with HBr to, f to give us this compound, the R compound? So, the hydroxyl group under conditions of HBr when it's heated, actually the Br can replace your OH. So, one is possible. Okay, your hydroxy is replaced by your Br. Number two, we have our alkene double bond. So the HBr will be adding across your alkene group or your double bonds. The H will go to the one that already contains more hydrogen. Right, so the H will come here based on Markovnikov rule. Your Br will go to the other carbon. Then we have our single bonds. All right, that will give us also compound R. The third one, again the addition across double bonds, but this time okay, it's a different molecule. The H will be attached to this carbon because this carbon has more hydrogen. Right? This carbon has no hydrogen at all. So this becomes CH3, your Br will be attached to this carbon, okay, and then we end up with compound R. So all three molecules are possible. Number 40. Which statement about this reaction is correct? 
how do you con con convert 5 hydroxy pentanoic acid into cyclic compound so drawing out the structure 1 2 3 4 5 pentanoic acid and then 5 hydroxy means there's a hydroxyl group on the number 5 carbon right this being number 1 carbon 2 3 4 5 Okay, this is the fifth carbon. I'll leave out the other hydrogens to make it neater. So what happens actually we can see that it forms a ring between your number one carbon, two, three, four, five, and your number five carbon. It forms an ester bond. Ultimately is how do we form an ester between your acidic group and your hydroxyl group? Okay, we have to use concentrated sulfuric acid as one of your catalysts. That's a condition required for esterification. And then when they form the ester bond, okay, water is eliminated. H2O. So statement 2 is also correct. But we do not need sodium dichromate as the reagent. There's no oxidation taking place. So statement 2 and 3 are correct.